Donkey Kong Country. Is this a TV show? I spy with my hairy eye. What the fuck? Make a show about Mario, done. Make a show about Zelda, done. Make a show about Sonic, done. Make a show about Mega Man, done. Make a show about Donkey Kong, done. Eh, but make it a little questionably weird. Frankly, they were all pretty weird. And I'm gonna get the expand dong jokes out of the way, so uh, here you go. When a video game franchise gets insanely popular, they tend to make something else with it, like a movie or TV show or comics, etc. But most of the time, they just kind of end up sucking. Then what about the Donkey Kong Country series, the games that started the wonderful WareWare era? These games got insanely popular, so they made a TV series about it, simply titled Donkey Kong Country. Is it any good? Here, let me show you. Do you see this guy right here? Do you see this guy right here? Yeah? Now what's your answer? It's weird. So this is the Canadian 3D animated Donkey Kong Country TV series that first aired in the year 1996. Yep, that's right, this show was one of the earliest television series to use computer animation. But is the animation any good? <laughs> uh, yeah, just look for yourself. That's a butt. I mean, you can see the first problem with this show by just looking at it for a second. And they never miss the opportunity to have extreme close-ups every single second. So we're starting with the first episode according to the production code, Bad Hair Day. But before we begin, I just want to mention that the titles for this show's episodes are mostly puns and references. Legend of the Crystal Coconut, Raiders of the Lost Banana, Kung Fu, and my personal favorite, Booty and the Beast. Probably referencing to that butt we saw earlier. Or it could just be an homage to the Three Stooges. Nah, I'm pretty sure it's the butt thing. The episode begins with this sweet organ play, which seems to be played by Cranky Kong. Some people call me negative, they don't like my frown. They all try to cheer me up, but I'm down with being down. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. He's a genius, cause I am, cause I'm cranky. <laughs> My finger on the feet, yeah, I'm cranky. The oldest, wisest ape you'll ever meet. For example, you come to see the most prized possession on the entire I'm not sure. Who do you come to see? Me. Well, now that we've got I, I don't really give know, I'm... a swing over there. It's a magical, it's mysterious, it's the eighth and a half wonder of the world, the crystal coconut. Ah, it's too bright and beautiful. This is no ordinary crystal. It's a fortune teller, a teleporter. I must say, I'm enjoying this DVD so far. Oh yes, yes I am, yes. Basically, Cranky Kong tells us that whoever is possessing the crystal coconut is the rightful ruler of the jungle, and that its next ruler and king is the one and only Donkey Kong. But there is also a big threat by the name of King K. Rule. <laughs> And speaking of King K. Rool, here he is right now, with his army of... four. General Clump, I order you to seize the coconut! He's here to, of course, steal the crystal coconut, so the Kremlings are firing claptraps at Cranky Kong's house, which causes his roof to be eaten by them. But it looks more like it's being erased with a random Photoshop brush. But enough about that shit, we're here to see our main man, DK. Hmm, why do I always have to start the day with a tough decision? That's not exactly how I imagined Donkey Kong would sound like. Hey, Diddy! Come on up, little buddy! What in this thing? I don't know, DK. I'm a little nervous. Uh, my knees are starting to chatter here after what happened last time. And that is exactly how I imagined Diddy would sound like. 
It's Jeez, why does Donkey Kong sound like Chris Tucker all of a sudden? We gotta bust the move, Diddy. Cranky needs our help. So Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong are on their way to Cranky's house to stop King K. Rool and his army of four. And seeing how the bridge to Cranky's house has a bunch of booby traps on it, they have absolutely no problems fighting off the Kremlings whatsoever. Karuo, what's up? <laughs> Donkey Kong! Diddy, um, it was a good match. You won, I lost. Good sportsmanship and all that. <laughs> and then suddenly King K. Rool sounds like the red guy from Cow and Chicken. You did it, you did it, DK, you saved the coconut! <laughs> Do you think you two apes can break up your party long enough to fix up my roof? Preferably before Karul comes back! Actually, I'm pretty sure you can just undo that with Control plus Z, you're welcome. Back in King K. Rule's base, he and his general are trying to come up with a way to get rid of Donkey Kong once and for all. But he eliminated, uh, exterminated, and, uh, yes, uh, annihilated your entire army! Yes, that will be your entire army of four? Somebody hasn't played a lot of strategy games lately! Here, here, play some Command and Conquer. Okay, this joke was fucking terrible. So, King K. Rule comes up with the idea of casting a curse on Donkey Kong. A curse? And the curse is... <laughs> Listen to this. His strength will not return unless his hair grows back! What? Cut Donkey Kong's hair, and before it grows back... I'll have a coconut! What? Cutting back to DK's house where he's trying his best to look good in front of the mirror as well as getting ready to meet the love of his life, Candy Kong. Candy, Candy, Candy! She's just a girl, DK! You can't have fun with a girl like we do! The show introduces Candy Kong who appears to be working at the barrel factory where... <laughs> Can someone just please help Cranky out of this building, okay? It seems like Candy is the only worker at this factory, which is managed by... Who, who, who the hell is this? Happy birthday. Banana cream, your favorite. <sighs> Rejected. Watching my figure. Don't bother. I'm watching it for ya. Oh! 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 Smooth! Bluster Kong is one of the many characters that are exclusive to the show. His role is to try and make the moves on Candy Kong, making him the love rival of Donkey Kong, but the two of them doesn't get to chat for very long as DK himself appears out of nowhere to surprise Candy with... a bouquet of bananas. Yeah, I almost forgot, this is a Donkey Kong show after all. He likes bananas. I was gonna get you a cake, but I... Ho holy crap, that's harsh. You know, just because a girl rejects you doesn't mean you have to ram a freaking cake through her head, especially if it's banana cream! But then again, she did try to sabotage your work, so I guess it's fine. Cutting back to King K. Rule's base, where the Kremlings have built a robot that looks exactly like Candy Kong in order to trick Donkey Kong and cut his hair to cast the curse they were talking about before. A curse. I'm Candy Kong's Kong, we look like we're one and the same. You're thinking, but honey, I'm no ordinary day. I'm sugary sweet, ooh, just like candy cane. My charm and good looks drive all the apes insane. Every monkey's dream for your evil scheme. It's so cool to work for kids. I'm a little uncomfortable right now, I don't know about you. Back at DK's house again, where he's whining about not getting to go on a date with Candy Kong because apparently Blusser ramming the cake through her head was apparently Donkey Kong's fault. Thanks. But little does he know that Candy is visiting his house at the very moment, but it's actually the robot version who has come to cast the curse on DK by cutting his hair. What? Snip snip gonna clip. Make you my sweet and sexy chim. Being the nutball that he is, he gets seduced by this imposter and lets her cut his hair. All done. That wasn't so bad, was it? Whoa, 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 hold the fuck on. Is that the actual shape of top of Donkey Kong's head? Is that the shape of his cranium? Taking inspiration from Worf or something? I am Worf, 
So now that the curse has been cast on Donkey Kong, he has lost all of his super strength. I'm pooped! Now King K. Rool makes a second attempt to snatch a crystal coconut from Cranky, but Donkey Kong is back to stop him once again, but with the curse still in action, DK can't lay a single scratch on K. Rool's minion Crusher. He then gets knocked out and K. Rool steals the crystal coconut without any problems. This is bad. Really, really bad. What happened? Ever since Candy Cut. Hey, wait a second, where's Diddy Kong? Ah, there he is. While all hope seems to be lost, Funky Kong appears to the scene to aid our heroes. And Diddy's tail seems to have a boner. Hey, dudes, it's chaos all over the island. Yeah, man, we'll hop on my flying cruiser and fly to the spot where all the good bananas are and eat them till we explode. Isn't, isn't it funny to hear a guy with a Swedish accent speaking another kind of accent? No? Okay. So Donkey, Diddy, and Funky flies away to grab some bananas for DK to eat. Also, the bananas look fucking ugly. Meanwhile, Cranky has mixed up an antidote that will undo DK's curse- wait, 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 wait. If Cranky could come up with an antidote, then why the hell didn't he just let the others stay and wait for him to mix one up? Why is Donkey Kong sitting here eating himself fat on a bunch of bananas? Ah, fucking never mind. It's up to Candy and Bluster to deliver the antidote to Donkey Kong, but on their way with Bluster's chopper, the propeller gets... I don't know, eaten? I'm not sure, they're not really explaining what happened. Did... did they die? Huh, apparently not. I'm tired, my feet are sore, I have sand in my shoes, and I'm thirsty! Give me that bottle! No! This will save Donkey Kong! So what if Karul wins? Who cares? Donkey Kong will be out of my hair! I can't stand that guy! Now give me that stuff! We're not going to save Donkey Kong. No one is. Bluster! What are you doing? I mean, it's not like I should stop you or anything. Huh? What? What's happening? Uh oh! It's, it's... it's the biggest, hugest, humongous banana tree I've ever seen! Question, is this relevant to the plot in any shape or form? Nah, that's what I thought. Back to where DK is being a fat ape and stuffed on bananas, he just can't eat another one. But Diddy forces him to eat one more banana, and then all of a sudden, his hair grows back again! So there was absolutely no need for that antidote then. Okay. With his strength back, Donkey Kong infiltrates King K. Rool's base and kicks the crystal coconut out of Crusher's hands. And it lands directly in Cranky Kong's house. Oh, damn. That was a good ass kick. Have you ever thought of some other careers? <laughs> we bad guys never get a break. It's been fun, a real hoot, but I got split. I have a birthday party to go to. With King K. Rool defeated, DK returns back home where he's about to get a present from Candy for being a hero today, but Robot Candy is about to give him a present as well. All DK has to do is to figure out who the real Candy is. She's the fake. Don't listen to her! She is! Everybody, hold it! I'm not gonna fall for it twice! Even I can tell the real Candy from a fake! Easy! It's you! Are you crazy? Crazy in love enough to know the real thing when I see it. Ouch! I never want to see you again. Now that we're alone, how about a big birthday kiss? Oh, yes. You got it. <laughs> I'm blown away, Candy. Totally. Yeesh. So that is the first episode of the Donkey Kong Country TV series. What can I say about this show? Well, by just looking at it, you already feel like there's something wrong with it. But what if you actually sat down and watched it? I mean, it's harmless if anything. The animation is really bad, but as a kid's show, it's pretty okay. This is a show that you can watch just for the sake of having a good laugh at how this show was executed. Sort of like The Room. It's bad, but still pretty enjoyable. But at the end of all things, at least we know what Donkey Kong's weakness is. Barbers. Enjoy your bananas, everybody! Hello, my awesome people! Did you like this video? Then don't be afraid of hitting that like button. 
Don't forget to subscribe and share this video as much as you can, it really does help me out. And I highly suggest that you follow me on Facebook and Twitter as I'll be posting news, updates and other random dongs. I also do live streams at times, so follow me on Twitch if you're into that kind of stuff. Okay, toodles!